one and all, boys and girls, dudes, dudettes. Um, this is episode what? 40... 48. 48 of the Camping Buddies podcast. We are joined here today by the lovely Alyssa, Alyssa Cat. Uh, we got Hector over there in the hat. I'm Kelly, the other hat, and then moles and red hair. And today we're talking about foreskins. Who's got them? Who's need them? Who wants them? We're going to be talking about that later today. Don't know if I should be following up on that specifically, but... I feel like now we kind of have to. (laughs) Okay. Um, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess the, the biggest thing that was on my mind about that was just, I saw a show It was a British show. It was called naked attraction on HBO. What? Oh, I was going to talk about another show. I just put it in the topic list. Okay. And it's like related to the topic. <laughs> gotcha. There's a couple of good shows on HBO. I'm watching the Fiona and cake show, but then I was like killing time. I was like, what else do I have? Cause I have a su- subscription of it. Naked Attraction. It's a dating show where you choose one person chooses like one out of eight people that are butt ass naked. And I didn't know it was full frontal. And I was like, what the fuck? So it was like, um, see, this is all covered, right? And it's like, okay, here's like your partner with just the bottom half. And it shows up their dick and cooch and stuff. And it's like, okay, eliminate one person. And so you eliminate them, reveal the whole person, give them a hug, leave. It's okay. Now we do the torso. Same oh, thing yeah, in the head. Nude? They're nude. All of them are uncircumcised. I don't get it. Oh. You give them a naked <laughs> hug. They get a naked hug. So every, and then the person. Are, are any of them dudes? like chubbed? Oh. Ellis <laughs> is asking the real questions. <laughs> On little... live television, you know? They, they're probably like drunk or something because none of them are getting hard. Oh. Yeah, Which that'd be no... like my biggest concern. I'd be like, Ooh, I don't know if I want to be naked in front of a bunch of people. Yeah. But it's weird. It caught me by off guard. And I was like, this is kind of cyberpunk night or a Black Mirror esque. Right. I was like, I'm not watching this shit. And I was like, I'm going to keep watching it. And I watched it. <laughs> um, I don't know. It, it was it kind of intriguing because some of them were like giddy and weird and goofy. And it was kind of charming. So I was like, this is kind of neat. Mm-hmm. But. It was weird. I don't feel less self-conscious about my anymore because it's like everyone is the same kind of shape in different variations. Yeah, it was weird. I feel like, um, like, so is it only women choosing men, or is it vice versa too? Vice versa, guys choosing both boys and girls, and the vice versa with that. Um, and then the person choosing. When they're down to two people that they've chosen, they get naked, and then the two people judge the person, and then they choose the final person. And the girls always go for like the hottest, like buffest guys. Right. It was like this really charming guy in a wheelchair, and he's like really handsome in the face, but he has something to do with his legs, so he couldn't stand up for a long period of time. He's and just this, like total naked in a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh my, this guy's in a wheelchair. <laughs> and then this like guy, he's just like. Like nothing, no one's at home. No one's home. And she's like, oh. hmm, like this guy's really charming. The guy in the wheelchair, but I'm gonna have to choose the guy, other guy. Sorry, I'm like, girl, no <laughs> shit. And then their date went horribly. I'm like, girl, no, no shit, no shit. In my head, I'm like, Mm-mm. like if he's like choosing one of the guys, they're like listing all these things that they like, and she's like, uh huh, uh huh. Like she's just staring at each <laughs> dick, like okay. <laughs> How are we going to do this? Yeah, she's drooling. <laughs> Was the show, like, strictly hetero? Mm-mm. Oh, it's okay. like, uh, like a bi person choosing both boys and girls, uh, all oh. gay. Yeah. I kind of want to watch the- at least an episode of this, but it sounds like a BuzzFeed video. It's no, kinda, right? It kind of screams that way. <laughs> Very uh, free-spirited. There yeah. was this show I watched in like high school, maybe. Um, it was called Utopia, and it was it was only one season because it was a weird show, and I'm sure it never got picked back up. But it was supposed to be like a reality show where these people are supposed to survive for like 30 days on this compound, and they have no electricity, and they're all nude, and they all have to survive with like so many things that they were provided. 
and they're supposed to farm and all this shit. It was Ooh. okay, but it was weird. Was weird it how? so? It was like a game show? No, because like there was no like prize. Yeah, it was like they were just supposed to survive on that compound. Why the fuck would naked. anyone? Sign and it was supposed to be that. a utopia. They were trying to make it like ideal for everyone that was there. <laughs> you know. So they were trying Ideal. to like, calmly squash <laughs> any issues. Were they allowed to like make their own clothes? Or did they have to be naked? I think they had to be naked. Some I don't utopia. know. I I again it's been so long. <laughs> but yeah, it you was guys, really we to live good. in a utopia. No clothes, no food, no shelter. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's paradise. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so that show that Kelly was talking about reminded me of like these clips that I keep seeing. I don't know whose channel it is, but like it's where all these guys are either on a stage in a white room or just like in some random room in general. And it's like all these people wearing like, like morph suits and they're like green screen morph suits and the, the entire panel of dudes are black. And their job is to figure out who's black and who's not. <laughs> like, they ask, like, questions to these, like, people in the morph suits without knowing, like, their ethnicity. Oh, I just watched uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> There's, it was like, it was like, okay, let's say you're driving past McDonald's uh, and you ask for McDonald's. What did your parents say to you? <laughs> and, like, uh, anyone who answered, we got McDonald's at home or we got... Or at or was like you got McDonald's money. They were black. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, and anyone who answered, we always had, we always got McDonald's. White as fuck. Why well, just make yeah. them say the N word? <laughs> no, because one of them did. I think it's just like say say the hard R, and like and like. The white dude said it better than any of the dudes on the panel, uh, so they were convinced he was black. <laughs> <laughs> so good. One of us. <laughs> what was that show you were talking about, Honk? Um, so I don't know if any of you guys have watched it. It's called Sex Education. Yeah. On Netflix. I watched the first yeah. three seasons and I started season four. Yeah, so the new season just came out. And um, you talking about foreskins reminded me of this episode where, like, this guy, the main character guy, he's, like, up in front of his school audience, like, trying to announce that, like, he wants to run for school therapist or whatever. School and he, therapist. <laughs> yeah, he's a sex therapist, or he's trying to be. And he plugs his phone into the, the monitor, uh, the big projector. And he shows a picture of, like, his ad poster. And then he accidentally swipes or, like, a message pops up. And it's dick pics that he was going to send to his girlfriend. And it was the weirdest looking dick I have ever seen in my fucking life. Um, and so it was, like, flaccid, yeah. It was he flaccid, wasn't even hard yeah. in the dick pics he was going to send. And it was not circumcised. Oh, yeah, I think uncut. I think that's what got me. Like, it just looked so <laughs> weird to me. Like, I don't. Never, see... You've never seen a a soft, uncut. <laughs> Not like soft. Before? I've seen I've seen uncut Do hard from to? like porn and stuff. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> it was just like it. Like I didn't think it was real. I was like, "Is that someone's actual dick?" I like, know, obviously they wouldn't, but it's like a prosthetic for sure. But I mean, it's pretty similar. It's pretty accurate, I think. I like, like if I was a girl and I was presented that in a sexual situation, I don't think I'd stick around. I think anyone who's uh, uncut is a grower and not a shower. So if it's like that's flaccid, like, then it's like it's definitely kind of looks weird. Like yeah. at the end of the day, that's what it matters. Like don't be dogged <laughs> on someone for their size when they're soft. Judge them when they're mm -hmm. like rock hard. Judge them, <laughs> judge them when they're hard. <laughs> they're judge them if it's then. little and skinny. <laughs> judge them by their hardness, not their softness. <laughs> you don't like me at the softest. You don't deserve me at the hardest. 
<laughs> I don't know. It's like this is a question for the boys. I get actually this is a good question for Alyssa too. <laughs> it's like, has your partner ever like just fucking flipped your shit like a light switch when it's flaccid? And like, do 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 do. No, I don't. Uh, have they ever tried like, to like? I don't mess with his member like that, bro. Like, just playing with it? <laughs> yeah, or just trying to, like, see it when it's soft or something. They don't really know how dicks work. Um, yeah. I mean, you suck it until it gets hard. What? Usually, like, <laughs> That's not the question. <laughs> That's not the question. Isn't that... You said if you mess with it to get it hard. Is no, that what no, it was? no. No, just for fun. Just for fun. Like just look if it's, at it. If it's soft, like, are you? Are they just like, do, 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 just like slapping it around? Oh, or just something? playing with it. Yeah. Yeah, well... I don't know if I should really talk. <laughs> guys do it all the time. Like, guys do it. Like, I, when I'm sitting in the bathroom, just like, hamburger. Like, <laughs> hot dog, you know? And then with two guys in the tub, it's like... Same thing. Oh and with the foreskin, god. you got more to play with. Oh my god, that's so I need a little weird. explanation with the oh. hamburger hot dog. Oh, I don't <laughs> think I should. I think we can cut it there. <laughs> he said hamburger. <laughs> We're done. What Dude, next topic. Fuck? I'm turning red right now. Oh uh, my god. Weird. I want to cry. So I want to know what uh, hamburger is. <laughs> well, <laughs> no way. I think I know what he's talking about. Yeah. I think I get it. <laughs> I Maybe. think I've witnessed. Oh my god! Oh, oh, hot dog! I get <laughs> hamburger. I'm a little bit like, I don't know. I mean, we do. We can move on. That's fine. Man. I want to know. Well. <laughs> And then you try like inverting all of it because you still got extra skin, right? I got extra, a little tiny extra. I don't got all my skin, but a oh, little they didn't, tiny they, didn't, the they didn't cut you perfectly. Not perfect. I mean, they still go like. When it's still soft. be enveloped. When it's soft, yeah. yeah. Can still be enveloped. Yeah, you know I can crater it. Thick and so off topic. Let me know a little off topic. Two tone. Uh uh-uh. uh, two tone on a C- cow patterned. Cow cow patterned. Cow patterned. That's not dick, real. Right? Wow. What? Is that real? <laughs> Kelly, yeah. you have fucked seven different breeds of men. What is going on? Well, two-tone is that what you're makes talking it look about? Look like there's shit on the dick, bro. Oh, That's you mean their... like it's like, like white one? at the like base when they're cut. and like dark at the no when yeah, it's like literally half and half. Oh, that's from being cut. I yeah, think. from being cut. It's like yeah. the extra skin makes so, it better. So, Alyssa, in your professional opinion, is it, I mean, I'm sure you're biased, but like it's better to not be cut. I mean, visually, I prefer, and maybe physically, I prefer cut. But biased, uncut. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what the fuck? Oh, we're, I need to address the elephant in the room really quick. What the fuck is that behind you now? Has that always been there? Oh, that? Yeah. Oh, it hasn't always been there, but I've always just, like had it. A and A. That's how you spell Tigger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think you fucked it up. Okay. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> Anyone else got any um, dick things to talk about? This is a fun topic. I always love like, talking about cock. I still want to know hamburger hot dog. <laughs> well, you get like two balls and you smish them in between the dick. Hamburger. In between the dick? Well, you get them You get them to a certain point. You're just like... Like, are you it's talking like, about like, balls like, on either side of the shaft? Either yeah. side of the shaft. Okay. I thought that was hot dog. It's either or, honestly. You flip it. It's like hot dog, and then whoop, hamburger. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the O, then the I roll. <laughs> the I'm st- trying to understand. <laughs> the, the, the flip. torsion. Oh my um, God. <laughs> well, you get like, you get these, right? 
Uh-huh. Okay. You just like stretch them over and you get like to there. So that's hot dog. And then you flip it this way and it's hamburger. You just flip it 90 degrees. <laughs> you just twist your <laughs> dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do some weird shit with my dick, but I don't know if I've ever done that. How often do you That's guys helicopter? That's so weird. I, I hurts. I don't do it. Yeah. Well, yeah, like, I got hurts. What? Helicopter. After every shower? Really? <laughs> every Not has to dry it. off. After I'm done peeing, <laughs> just get the drip out. <laughs> He's, he's yeah, I don't want out to of shake it out. <laughs> he gets all of your pants. What? Oh my Same god! Same with shitting. You gotta keep jumping to get the poop out. You're sick. Right, You're I, yeah. sick. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, uh, wait, no, no, wait, 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 wait. One more, one more, one more, one more. Okay. okay. So, Hector, uh, Kelly, do you ever when? For your partners, do you ever just and does Alan do this? Does does do you guys ever just like walk into the room and just start doing like the fucking like the bridge? Like you just keep like dry humping so the dick swings between your legs. Yeah. All like, the time. Like butt ass naked in front of in front of Sam. Yeah. Well, just like slap say, your dick on your stomach? Sometimes. I know, yeah. Is that what it is? I yeah, know, like I you're really... just swinging like the your dick between your legs up to your stomach. You just, just like, like walk thing. up and you're just like t posing, asserting dominance. Just wiggling a little. <laughs> I don't. Oh, that's a bit too much. My dick's not. You just talked about but... turning your dick into a hamburger and a hot dog. I don't think anything's out of bounds for you. Okay, like two <laughs> sides of the same coin. Like I don't go there, but I will go there. <laughs> Is it more appetizing as a hot dog? I is it like it. is it like the choo choo train like the chuka 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 train? What? <laughs> Eat up! Eat up! <laughs> <laughs> it's like when they put like a dog's medicine in a little hot dog. <laughs> it just makes yeah, it I put like a bit. like a sour patch kid in between it. Yep. Add some garnish to it. <laughs> a little fucking cilantro signature sauce yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay now we can move on okay. thank god <laughs> you sure see. what no, no, no. new shirt is that what you said no alright next topic Kelly you want to talk about video games Yes. Um, so when collaborating collaborating with certain people with different games into your own game, you think you want to keep on the same theme or just go totally apeshit and just go off the books? And when it comes down to Modern Warfare, motherfucking Fortnite, motherfucking now Rainbow Six Siege with a Halo, I'm just like, I'm seeing a pattern here, and I don't know if this is all like, uh, like, like, like a fucking, like a boardroom meeting with everyone. It's like, hey, the elites say we gotta put down the freaking, um, the, the the we need the we need the fucking Halo skin in Rainbow Six Siege now. We need Nicki Minaj in Modern Warfare. We need Skeletor in Modern Warfare. I don't know why. It's just, I don't know if it's the companies, it's an easy way to get paid and have advertisement at the same time. I don't understand. That's exactly what it is. It's all for money. I it's, fucking That's exactly it. what it is. I mean, at the same time, though, it's also, I think it's fine. Because it's also like, well, now you have Kratos and Fortnite. That's kind of fucking Fortnite hilarious. Does make, Fortnite has all the leeway it can because it's a multiversal thing. And I get it and I kind of like it. I don't like it in uh, Modern Warfare or Rainbow Six Siege. I think it's fucking dumb. I think adding um, it to Modern Warfare makes Modern Warfare actually like playably fun. Because like you had the Homelander one, and now you have Nicki Minaj. So if you have the finisher for Homelander with Nicki Minaj, what? she's just like has the laser eyes coming out of her, just like 
I think um, that's pretty good. I didn't buy Modern Warfare to have Nicki Minaj eye laser eye me. See, I did but... it so I can have tactical operators shoot me, gun me down, and then sick a dog on me. That's modern, and that's also kind of warfare. That's not um <laughs> Fortnite. You just have all these like very forgettable names in your game. Like I don't know anyone's fucking name. And then it's just uh, like Nicki Minaj comes out of here and you're like, oh shit, Nicki's in the club? It's let's it's all squad up as Nicki. It's to get the girlies in. And yeah. you get like the you get the, the other people who the like the, the boys. Gates? Yeah. That's why we need a gatekeep modern warfare. We need a gatekeep. Oh. They have been. We don't need like the more. <laughs> they're free. You know, like Modern Warfare's free. So like we need to get as much people as we can as pot. That's fucking why. I just cracked the code. <laughs> in order to get more money in when it's free. Literally. That's that's all it is, Kelly. That's it's all video games are. <laughs> I hate I mean, it, dude. Why Overwatch is free and you have to pay for everything else in the game. I don't really <laughs> see why you're upset about Siege. Siege has never even had a collaboration until They did. They did with uh Resident Evil, Tomb Raider, um something else i'm forgetting those are kind of fine they make more sense they're costumes but like a sci-fi like space Soldier. marine i don't yeah it's a bit it's, it's, but it's, it's just a, a skin like it's not that good. no skins and if I anything it's like pay to lose i want to be immersed okay first experience. off you could put a fucking charm on every single gun that doesn't make any goddamn sense your name could be put- poop fart ass fuck and like no one would give it no one would bat a fucking eye and thirdly like if you're playing video games for like realism like a modern war like modern warfare then fucking go outside like it's a it's video not that game. realistic <laughs> but i'm going back to the 2019 modern warfare when it seemed more tactical and that's why i like mm-hmm. i like that genre i like the feel for it it's like like you're wearing blue jeans and a tactical vest and a cool hat you know and then like a helmet over all of it it's cool Got a i don't like game it for you what ready or not have you seen uh, that is that the you like to breach into buildings and stuff right yeah, you're literally the SWAT team, and like it's super hyper realistic. Like you can kill your friends, and like you have to distinguish between what's a hostile and what's a, a civilian, and you have to like get all the um. Oh, what do you call those hostages, hostages. out? Yeah, you have to defuse bombs. A bit of you have it. to do all that shit. There's claymores. There's drug houses. There's all that shit. If that's what you want. Play that game i don't see that game ever getting a collaboration but something so this... like siege come on okay so in the same breath i do want the girlies in the game i like the female operators i love the cool badass girls in the game which aren't really realistic but they sort of are and i will play if there's some girls in it i don't know yeah i definitely bought the hat bundle the fucking anime one the so I could have the pink bullets. <laughs> yeah, I just for remembered one? for yeah for the 2019 Modern Warfare. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's the cat bundle. There is the fucking. She ain't a real cat. Mara no. was in a fucking helmet yeah, and she, she had, had a harness cat. on. They had some some cat ears. ears. Cat they had goofy. Skates. Skates. If you if you log in a Mo- if you if you log in a Modern Warfare two, you'll see an actual cat man, yeah. full <laughs> mask, blinking with a tail. Yeah. Split gate two. Shut it off. Cut I'm, out. <laughs> I bought that skin in Splitgate also, <laughs> so I could have. It was a whole ass cat, man. It was really, really ugly <laughs> yeah. too. It was not. It was. Fun. He was. No, he was cool. He was a ginger. <laughs> it was Brooks Tabby. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. I. I don't have a problem with collaborations, especially if they're fucking sick. Like I think Apex does it kind of well. Like it's no. subtle small things, dude. Honestly, Apex shits is no Apex shit is so bad. Like their anime collection shit, I don't even think it was an actual fucking collab with those animes. Like what, they just you made were the skins and you bought the <laughs> skin. Yeah, but like, in, no, the skins are good. It's just like when they do a collab, it's not actually a collab. 
They just exactly. make skins that like remind you of that of mm. that thing without actually getting any like officially licensed. Like they have like twenty Evangelion skins for both Apex and Overwatch, but neither neither of them have ever collaborated with Ava- with Evangelion. What? 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 There's an Ava skin in Overwatch. Yeah, Symmetra has like an Ava skin. What is she? Ava. Because she's a robot? She's purple green and has like the same structure. This I gotta see. This I, I think, gotta see. I think they were just also trying to fit the vibe the for Om- the rest of the Overwatch Omnic. The Omnics, yeah, but that one's like so obviously fucking Ava. I think that's a stretch. Because it looked pretty Omnic to me. Well, I even think she has the number on her chest. I can sort of see it, but you have to like squint to see it. Uh, that's you know what I mean, like me. like like gay sex, the cats. <clears throat> oh, yeah, the the meme with gay sex. It was like those cats running. It's like, well, look at those cats. We squint and it says gay sex. Oh. <laughs> Ka- mm, I don't I know. I see it. I want an Ava skin for D.Va. That'd be sick. Great. That'd be cool. They have a Voltron skin. What they do? They have a Voltron skin for Horizon and Apex, and they have a Voltron skin for D.Va. Hmm. Do you think Overwatch has taken enough punish yet? I've been I've been out of it for like a year now. Do you think they're Do you think they've t- had enough? It hasn't been. I a feel year. like Overwatch only collabs with itself, Blizzard property, and I don't. Well, they're the only ones that can legally do that, and they made it a collab with um, with one One Punch too. Oh right, yeah, that's the only collab that I can think about. That was a good oh. one, except for the Kiriko skin. But like the free that's soldier skin say. was awesome, and then the fucking uh, Doomfist punch that was awesome. And then soldiers outfit. That's what I said. Yeah, and that one was free. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, Genji. Wait, did you ever mention Genji? Is Genji? Genji had he had the Gendo. Oh, What's his name? like. Genos or whatever. Genos. Yeah. I forgot that. I don't know. That. I think it was a cool collab. I just think, like, if you're going to do a collab, the name should be there. I don't, I don't know why, like, like I don't like how Apex is, like, just does shit without, like, officially licensed shit. They ain't rich like that. <laughs> they should. They're no, not it's because EA is fucking money hungry and they're going to try to be like, oh, it's a parody. Instead of like trying to collab with someone so that they get money, it's fucking stupid. Didn't they do like a Luffy skin? They yeah. did, and they redid it because it was too Luffy like, so <laughs> that they couldn't get the fucking rights to it. It wouldn't be a parody because it's directly Luffy, so they had to cover up his mouth. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> they can just like come out at launch looking exactly like a thing. It's like, Oops, I got copyrighted. And a bunch of people bought it already, and then they change it. Yeah. Hook, line, and sinker. And that's EA. EA is full of shit. Damn. That's why I'm not excited for The Sims 5, honestly. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, they're showing little tidbits here and there and showing off details, but it's going to be multiplayer, and they're going to have Sims 4 in tandem with Sims 5, like making DLC separate. And I don't think The Sims will ever be The Sims anymore, and that sucks. Microtransactions up the ass. It was always like that, but it's just they're losing touch with, like, solo gameplay, and that's what I want. And Sims 4 was only, like, it was half ass on purpose because it was originally going to be a setup for a multiplayer-based Sims game. So that's why it was so much shit than uh, Sims 3. What about, uh, is anyone seen anything about Payday? Payday 3, Colin and I were talking about it, but I was going to wait because it's the there's few maps on it and it's kind of glitchy. But overall, the gameplay was cool. Yeah. 
Is that the one with all the videos of there's a guard? There's a guard. Mm-hmm. There's a guard, yes. Yeah. <laughs> that one looks I like cool. Those memes. Guard there. <laughs> <laughs> Lies of P is pretty good. What is that game? When you text me that, I I thought that you, like, misspelled something. Every other TikTok on my TikTok is an ad for Lies of P. I've never heard of it. It's a Pinocchio Bloodborne game. Scroll until Mm. I find it. Whoa! (laughs) Gets distracted. (laughs) Wait up! Yeah, no, I'm just yeah, sorry. That's sick, Doc. A, a van just th- was thrown cheap. into a fucking card shop, so that was sad to see. And you just sent it to me. I just sent it to Hector. <laughs> All right, uh, look for the ad, and then we can. The more man. You guys keep talking. I'm gonna be looking for this. Oh ad. my lord! Um, what else came out? Starfield. I think you guys already talked about that in a previous episode. You did. Uh, a little. Boulder's yeah. Gate. I know you did talk about that. Come on. Well, we ran out of topics, so let's go to the list. Alyssa, do you want to talk about Doja's album? Oh, right, right, right. Um, have you guys heard any of the new songs? Or I've seen memes. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one song where she's like, not even singing, she's just like listing stuff. Like, something, something on my ass now. Mm-hmm. Something, oh. something in my apps. Something. Oh, what's cash the cow, all that, Ca- right? Yeah, cash grab. Um, uh, and it was like they were saying it's like exactly the same to this rap that Noel Miller did. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know. You haven't seen those? No, I haven't seen that one specifically. Um, it's pretty funny. What's it called? Let me look it up. Know. We're all just looking shit up now. So the full album is like. Yeah, I've heard Painted Town Red. That one's pretty good. Wet Vagina. What the okay. fuck? <laughs> what? That was one of them. Dude, I swear to God, as soon as I say I get an ad for it every two seconds, it's just not even like popping up now. Okay, when you find the ad, what are you going to do? Just say, hey, yeah, there's the ad. <laughs> so I can send it to Alyssa. No. Just search Lies of P. No. You'll get an ad for it, right? You definitely would. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate the internet. Anyways, I think the song is the one that I was talking about that I hated, though. The the devil or demons. Demons, I think, is what it's called. Hmm. Um... Because that one, she's like, we are enemies, we are foes, who are you, and what are those? You know? <laughs> like, that fucking vine. And I was like, oh, that's just so cringe. <laughs> and then, also, another song in this album, she says that phrase, what are those? What Two are fucking those? songs in one album. A little cringe. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Um, Moles, I found the ad, so you can stop looking. Thank you, Jesus <laughs> Christ! It just won't pop up now. It's pissing me Jeez. off. I even looked it up. You could look in your watch history. <laughs> That's true. It's a thing. Or what well, you I just said, scrolled through like eighty started. fucking things. So I don't know. Oh, well, now all of a sudden I'm seeing a diva cosplayer, and you could see her nips through the costume. So that's interesting. All right, time okay, to, time to turn it off. off. <laughs> <laughs> You heard that, guys. Moles is already bored. Literally. No, off TikTok, like two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Just gonna start scratching my face. Oh, I wish I had eye funny. Oh, eye funny. So much. I wish. Oh, I wish I was a soy jack that was waiting for Sims Five. Are you making fun of me? Yes, I'm making fun of you. You get excited over dumb. You get excited over dumb shit. I do not. I do not. What are you excited? I get excited. What are you, what are you excited Look for? Your what are you excited for? Look at all the memorabilia you have in your room. Because it's good stuff. All right. Well, 
Look at this your fucking right room. Here. Oh, that is not good stuff. The it anime is good my stuff. My room. This ain't permanent. I can't put shit on the walls. Why? Have you ever heard of command strips? That's effort. I don't put effort. Clearly, um, fuck. <laughs> I don't know. I got I got good stuff. Fuck you. <laughs> Boy, you have had the same room for like the past like six months. <laughs> the only difference I is how your bed's made. Oh, it is. I Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are jerks. <laughs> I would never, I would never say anything like that to you, Chloe. What the fuck up? Yes, you would. <laughs> I would never. Just starts crying. Um, music. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, guys. I, I got good taste, and one of those is going to clubs. Nightclubs are fun as fuck. Really? I like to jam and get drunk, and that's all. So. When you go to a club, you expect newer, cool songs to jam to, right? It's new, it's hip, you feel like you're in an environment that you haven't really been around before. I don't really listen to Doja Cat, so when I do listen to it, it sounds nice. It sounds like bah, 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 bah. But then you hear like, Romeo, Juliet, I'm like, is this winter formal? <laughs> yeah. On the fucking new songs. It does not belong. <laughs> I want grooves in the heart, and I want new songs. I don't want fucking stupid, like... <sighs> that's, like, honestly wild remixes. coming from you. That's, yeah. That's like, why you're not I, a Swifty? Because, like, you're... Well, not a Swift. I, I don't doubt that you're not a Swifty. Okay. It's just new more Swifty, so that you're not, Swifty. like... You're not, like, why aren't they playing Synthwave? Like, <laughs> where is no, moving I'll, out? I'll be a Zoomer. I'll I'll be a zoomer when it comes to these songs. I like my old ones, and I wish there was a club that only plays the songs I like that doesn't exist. So I'll take the ones that are newer and a bunch of other people like. So that brings up the vibe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. No more these Teeny Bopper 2008 songs. What it's kind hard of music? Because... I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's kind of hard. I get it because you have to make like a track that's like nine hours long, eight hours long. I get it. Hire a new DJ. I'm pretty sure there's someone out there that knows how to fucking do music and has a good ass song to play. Jesse literally does this for a little <laughs> Give him a phone and he'll give you a playlist. Sweet. Yeah. He's good at that. Kelly, what kind of music do you even like normally listen to? I old yeah, I do listen to old. I like, oh, like uh, let's see. Like, put your head on my shoulder, those guys. <laughs> Hell no. Like, <laughs> to the beat of the rhythm of the night. Da, 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 da. Oh. You guys in like Hi, the... Sharona. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> I haven't heard of it. Um, this dude's uh, like, Sweet Earth. Caroline. Um, <laughs> but nothing but a good time. And there's this one called Hotline. It's super good. It's by, like, the Silvers. Freak? It's like hotline, hotline, da da, come on on the hotline. Forget that. Super good. And then I got some uh, newer ones. Um, I gotta look for it. Um, newer to you or new? Newer. Well, this only came out in the eighties. Like Karma <laughs> by Taylor Swift. Um, I got another. Just some examples. I like some of Nikki. I like some of Taylor. I like some. If you like some Michael. of Nikki, why are you pissed she's in Modern Warfare? It's different. It, it's different. It, it's, worlds. Yeah. I want my well, world. Snoop Diggy Dog is in fucking Modern Warfare. He's been in like Modern. He's been in Call of Duty for like ever. So I guess he gets a pass. But 21 Savage and Nikki. 21's in fucking is yeah. Modern Warfare 2. That's kind of cool. You do, so then play Modern Tyler Warfare. Be... This is the game for you. Uh, <laughs> I want Tyler to be in Modern Warfare. That'd I'll, play, be cool. I'll play it again. It's bunny hop. Bunny hopping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. One of his quip lines is the N-word. <laughs> Just... <laughs> I be licking on this dude's braids. <laughs> <laughs> Um, maybe if they had like the Punisher, that'd be like a cool collab. 
because that guy uses guns. But yeah. oh, who the the guy the anime guy um, Alucard, fucking Skeletor, Spawn. How are you not excited for Skeletor? You're a fucking nerd for that. Um, the same reason why I don't want Superman in Modern Warfare. It's like they don't fit. Like I, I, I play Red Dead for cowboys. I play Modern Warfare for soldiers. I play Fortnite for cat girls. You know. I feel like yeah. you're very close-minded. If Fortnite can have all these things with guns, like you this, don't see Spider-Man. This isn't around a with one-stop cat, shop. Like, this isn't the Fortnite machine. This is the PlayStation 5. It has a bunch of fucking games. I don't need, like, one thing all in one. So you'd rather pay $60 separately for each of these l- beloved characters in their own yes. respective games than to just have them in a game that you play more often than not? Then why don't you play Jump Force? Because Jump Force is old now. I would absolutely mm. play a new it has collaboration all your anime games. characters in it though i would absolutely Goku, play it. i would play Luffy, boy i'd play all One of Punch that Man. i'd play the newest version of that right now you can't i cannot lie to you that'd be fucking all right awesome. that's the only game you're playing that's the only game you're playing what do you mean the only game i'm playing <laughs> only one your argument is I can only play Fortnite because it has all these cool characters in it. No, nope. no, I'm saying if you're going to be playing it all the time anyways, wouldn't you want characters like beloved characters in it? Like if you fucking it love depends. modern warfare, then wouldn't yeah. you want fucking Spike Spiegel to be a character? No, no. Why? You know why? Why? Because that doesn't match the theme in the fucking tone of the game. Why? Because he shoots a gun because he can run and gun. That's it. Homelander can fucking fly and shoot lasers. He's down using guns. That doesn't make... No. It's a That's a skin. bit too much. It's a skin. Okay, well, I'm retarded about it, okay? <laughs> I got, like... I got, like, the brain of, like... Like, I can't compute with it. That's the one thing, like, stop. Like, you no more. You are actually a boomer. It's insane. Let me. <laughs> I got a boom. <laughs> I got a boom about these fucking games I like. Oh, those children and their newfangled technology. <laughs> Your Fortnite skins. Back in my day, we had Dusty Depot. Motherfucker. No. I don't know, man. I mean, Fortnite, yeah, I have a... There's illusion of disbelief when it comes to it. Like, it's fine. I don't care. Just, I don't know. I feel like I feel like it's fine as long as they're not charging an obscene amount of shit. They are. It's like they twenty are. bucks for a bundle. For a bundle, yeah. I feel like ten bucks is like the only reasonable price for a skin. Ten ten and below. If it comes with like a five dollar credit chip or something, I don't know. <laughs> 10 bucks like 20 bucks is insane 20 bucks is insane i'm not i'm i'm not saying that it's not i'm saying okay, that 10 bucks is like the highest i think it should be and then and then you go to fucking apex and it's like the highest could be like 160 to 500 <laughs> wait what like is that for the whole battle pass no. for the heirloom so they have like Heirlooms, and then they have prestige skins. Prestige skins are basically heirlooms, but it's just a skin. But it's a first-person shooter, so they're kind really of fucking, useful. Yeah, you get your mileage without looking at it. Yeah. Well, basically. you get to see their fingernails, neat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I look, look. look I'm. So, yeah, I was I'm about to say. I, wait, what was the yeah, fuck does that Luke matter? Who <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> uh. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Moving, Moving on. on. We're defeated. Um, Honk is getting married. Congratulations, getting married. Honk! Thank Thank you. He's going to be. Um, everyone's invited. All of our viewers. All of our viewers. You just have to wait outside the gate. <laughs> yeah. And we will throw cake to you. <laughs> we'll throw it to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Honk, I put that topic because I wanted you to like share the struggles that you're having. Everything. 
It must be hard. Just all of it. It's annoying. It's stressful. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of planning. Even for a small wedding, we're only having 20 people max. And it's annoying to figure out everything. 20 people? Yeah. I feel like you're wrong. Why? It just doesn't sound right. I mean, there's already I, three people. I have the list. I counted. I know the number. <laughs> it's just that you don't need 20 people. Again. We're all right yeah, here. Yeah, give us, give us a skim. Oh. Yeah. Um, okay, so you three, the other people in our group, so Jesse, Colin, Alan, um, sister, brother, brother-in-law, mom, dad, Sam's sister, Sam's friend, Sam's mom, Sam's other friends. Uh, I think my grandma's coming. I think I have the fucking list. <laughs> you want me to read you the whole fucking list? It's not yeah. that like I don't believe you could do twenty. It's just that like what I thought about like how many people would be at my wedding one day. It was a lot. And like I, I just like twenty sounds wrong. Like twenty sounds like an understatement. It's like a small no? wedding though, so I'm not gonna have that many people on mine. I'm hoping it's around twenty also. I ain't yeah. getting married. That's the cheapest fucking thing you can do. Period. <laughs> Punk said yeah, but Sam insisted. <laughs> <laughs> and Sam should get what she wants. She deserves no, it. I think she this is my fault. It. She said she'd be fine with just us two and her dress and going to the courthouse. Oh, eloping? She said she would be fine with that, but I wanted to have you guys and some of my family. There's so no problem. Kind of just throwing a party after you guys go to the courthouse. True. I mean, if everyone's going to be here, why not just do it all together? I yeah. fucking, I mean, that's up to you, pal. If you don't cry when she walks down the aisle and she sees me crying, I, she might <laughs> leave you <laughs> for me. I will say, of course, you're going to be fucking crying. You if fucking you think pussy. I'm not going to cry, you're <laughs> insane. I'm going to be sobbing the entire time. I'm going to be so happy for you. <laughs> I'm going to be so eating. sad with that, Sam. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm not wearing mascara to your wedding. <laughs> hey, it might be raining, so maybe a good call. How fun. Yeah. Is that good luck? No, <laughs> it rains all the time. I hope so. <laughs> rain on a wedding? I think, I think it's good luck. I think luck. rain at funerals was... Good luck? Yeah. yeah. I think someone just gets a garden hose and just... Yeah. Does that, like... Yeah, I'll just get like a really, really big strainer and have it hover above. Just get like a garden hose. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. We'll see how that works out. <laughs> <laughs> you said you have the list. Was it actually twenty? Yes, it's it's twenty. If everyone I think is coming is coming. Mom, Who dad, brother, um, my aunt and grandpa and grandma. They're like mm -hmm. up in the air right now. So mm -hmm. Sam has five friends. She's popular. S Sam has four friends coming and her mom and her sister. So only six people for Sam we have us three, Colin. Sorry. Colin, do you want me to read the list a little bit I, I just like it sounds confusing in the middle okay mom dad sister brother brother-in-law grandma grandpa aunt colin Alyssa, alan kelly moles jesse sam's mom sister and her four friends damn she sounds i don't know Who's catering? Oh, we talked about <laughs> this. We just talked about this. Why don't you tell the crowd, Honk? Kelly, how would you feel about Chipotle? It's a little easy, ain't it? 
Yeah. yeah. Let's see you guys look there. That's I wouldn't yeah. mind. Good. It's, well, both of you guys work there, so it makes Good. sense. <laughs> yeah, we met there and we get an employee discount. Pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I refuse to fucking... Capri Sun. See, that's Slater. what I've been yeah, saying. Man. I want to do something else because I fucking am so sick of Chipotle, but I don't know what else I would cater. Dude, there's like it's easy barbecue it, places. There's fucking uh, like fish places. There's fucking. I mean, uh, obviously Alyssa wouldn't be too too psyched about. Alyssa would be the only one. I feel like that's probably not true. Oh, I think you'd oh. be the only one. You know every single one of Sam's friends' preferences? Pretty sure they got sushi while they were here. I know. I don't think anyone else really has a problem with seafood other than my mom, maybe Colin, maybe my brother. brother seems I have a shellfish you. allergy, so I can't eat too much. But you can have a little bit. A just little a little, yeah, have, have just a little puffiness in the face. Yeah. Some diarrhea. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Noted. Okay. Italian. I'm not getting Olive Garden. Fuck Olive Garden. Did you look into They'll the They'll get really soggy. I just don't like Olive Garden anymore. Why? Why? It's just, it's made out to be this, like, really nice restaurant, but it's pretty mid. It is pretty mid in, like, uh, the, um, <laughs> what is it, service? And um, also environment. I, I the think food is okay. Uh, is, uh, a little bit more than okay, though. I like the little mints, the chocolate mint. The Andes? Get, yeah. You can go get those at Winco. Also, um, yeah. <laughs> you can I get for you're... free at Olive Garden, though. <laughs> think about it. Equity, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're no. kind of wasting money if you don't go to Olive Garden, if you think about it. <laughs> Just get the soup and salad and get free Andes. All the Andes you want. Just ask me. Break it in. I feel like you guys are like (laughs) grossly mistaking this. Uh, Like Olive Garden's pretty good. I don't think it's like like the highest quality of any. Like I don't think it's the best one. Obviously, my favorite is Yard House. But if I had to choose between Olive Garden and Red Lob and Red Lobster, Olive Garden one hundred percent of the one hundred percent. Red Lobster fucking sucks. Yeah, I'll say. To, to me, Olive Garden is like a lunch and Red Lobster is like a dinner. Other way around. Nah. Because you have to purge after you're trying to be biscuits. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, because you you're going to eat only that. Two that gallons of water. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, well, I don't like seafood, so I just get soup and salad there, but I eat a shit ton of those biscuits. <laughs> I, I I I literally just had Olive Garden like recently and the bread was phenomenal. And then I got the chicken shrimp carbonara like I always do. Shit was exquisite. I don't see any problems. And and they usually have those deals like endless soup <laughs> or endless fucking pasta and if they do have a different deal it's to take home a pasta for like six bucks i was like this is it good it's a place that gets me to eat a salad are you trying to convince me to get (laughs) we kind of went off on a tangent kind of went off on a tangent but like i i just meant italian in general like there's there's several places like I feel like you didn't even look. I feel like you're just like Chipotle is the easiest because you know we do it. It's it's okay. Everything else is pricey, but if you get something, you get get like a ten percent discount on. You already work there. Why not? Like I know, and I guess, but like, like you guys are sick. Of but it, then I'm but... gonna be working during your fucking wedding. I'm be like, uh, does anyone want a burrito? I can roll for you. <laughs> like, he'll get some other one for. I'm that. just gonna make like big ass tacos with the tortillas, like that. Ah, like I hate your dad would be like, "I'll give a shit," and just like slaps that shit in his face. Well, actually, Chipotle catering does not give the burrito sized tortillas. <laughs> what? It's um, only the taco actually... tortillas. Hmm. 
Didn't know that. Yep. See, I learn something new every day. This is why I mix the big books. Yeah, don't you work there? Why don't you know this? Well, so caterings are always done in like the morning, which is which is his jurisdiction. And if I'm doing a catering, I'm only doing like the hot stuff. I don't fuck with like tortillas or any like shit like forks or bowls or anything. I just do I just make the actual food. So, like, during the catering, like, the whole catering process, they have someone from the store physically go out there, go to the event, no. do the thing. No. Who does it's just, that? like, preparing it. So, we make everything, oh, we put else. them into, like, catering boxes, and then the person comes and picks it up. Gotcha. And then just do your own plate type of thing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You could either do make your own plate kind of thing, or we, like, pre-make burritos. Which is a pain in the ass, so don't do that. Just make a bunch of PBJs. Take like one night to do it all. I'm never <laughs> going to your wedding. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, like I want to get married to like a... Like I want an Elvis impersonator. We'll go to Vegas and go to yeah. those cheapy chapels. Have Elvis marry. That's how my mom got <laughs> married. She got married I by, by Midget me. Elvis. Oh my goodness, she would. Classy, I want that. I have always well not always just recently I was thinking like I love Japanese I love Nordic shit like what if I did like a perfect blend of that that's cultural appropriation yeah (laughs) I think it's brand new I think it'd be really cool like one side Japanese one side Nordic I know, just like kind of like mi- mixing stuff that would make sense. I think I don't know. What would make sense? That's what I need to think about now, isn't it, Alyssa? You- so it doesn't make too much sense. You act like you already had it. <laughs> <laughs> Got like really? cherry blossoms and like a sword and like. Yeah. You said you want to wear a uh, the kimono. I was thinking about wearing a kimono, but I don't know. You're an Naruto headband. <laughs> no, but like kimonos are comfy as all fuck. I think that'd be cool. Would like, you go commando in a kimono? Not for my wedding. I don't know if that was like not for your wedding, but like in oh, general. Oh no, you 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 you're supposed to wear undies. Gotcha. And yeah, commandos for the honeymoon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Speaking of, where are you guys gonna go? Uh, we're undecided, but I've been thinking either Hawaii or Puerto Rico. Ooh, mm. I feel like you're going to have more fun in Hawaii. I'm not, I think Puerto Rico would be fun. I don't know what you're going to do in Puerto Rico. Like, what, what the fuck is there to do? You beaches. Just been. <laughs> like, you think it's... of Hawaii, you think of beaches, hammocks, hotels, and spas. You think of fucking their native food and shit. You go to Puerto Rico, you're just getting... You get the same exact thing. You can do all of that. <laughs> yeah. Same shit. It's just racist. <laughs> what do you get Puerto Rico for? Peaches? Like... Oh, no, because, like... Peaches, hotels, no, Hawaiian food. Dogs on the street Hawaiian and poor food. people. <laughs> okay. Listen. <laughs> Hawaiian... Like, Hawaiian cuisine is completely different. Puerto Rican food is... Uh, if, sorry for saying this, I'm probably gonna find somebody. It's just Mexican. It's just Mexican food. No, it is not. It's just Mexican food. It'd be more authentic. I it's know, not even close. The, Mexican, the only Mexican you eat is Chipotle. That's the most American. Mexican. That's no. like Tex-Mex, bro. No, I don't understand like people's fucking shit with that. Like I, I like it's still Mexican food. It's just not no. authentic. Like. How, have you had authentic Mexican food? Yeah, yeah. it's completely different. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. understand how it's it, like at all any different, really. They just do cilantro and lime for like everything. No, they don't. What do you mean? Spanish rice is completely different from Pedro. Chipotle Pedro has rice. made Pedro has made Spanish rice, and I'm not, and and we don't even serve Spanish rice. That doesn't, but we have cilantro lime rice, which is. Mexican. No, it is not. They don't do that. It's just so much of lime rice. I had to restart my camera. Um, I don't know. 
I just don't. Where like, would you go on your honeymoon? My honeymoon? I've always wanted to go to Rome. That'd be cool. Rome's neat. Be cool. Uh, obviously, I'm a huge sucker for Japan. That'd be awesome, but that's like a no. debate. Bye. You never, you never uh, struck me as a Japan fan. Shut the fuck up. Um, <laughs> South Korea, maybe. Not North. <laughs> What's in South Korea? Like Seoul. Seoul, yeah. What's in Seoul? Man, I'd rather go to Japan, honestly. Japan has a lot of beautiful sites. Um, fucking maybe like Ireland, oh, Scotland, Ew. Scotland, no Switzerland, Swiss, the Alps. It's beautiful. I like New there. Zealand. Go see New the fucking Zealand. Lord of the Rings set. I don't give a fuck about the Lord of the Rings set. You know what? What about Lord of the Rings? I've never seen Lord of the Rings. Bullshit. We saw it when I went to your house that one time with Janelle. We watched the first one that was yeah it. that was it i've never seen but, it since what they are like yeah you have like six hours ahead of you so never mind <laughs> like i don't know how you, you can really convince me like i liked the hobbit that was kind of cool no huh? no um, no hobbit you have all lord of the rings no hobbit no have it. No have it. Okay, no have it. Um, go to Vegas. Fuck you. Vegas sucks. Anyone who says Vegas is fun is full of shit. It is a desert wasteland. Everything is insanely goddamn overpriced. It, yeah, no, no, no. Get out of here. Burlesque is awful. Fucking all the shows are awful. You can shoot a bazooka for like $500 and then your trip is over. Oh, you are a real negative Nancy right now. Cause I don't care bullshit, for Vegas either. But it's it's hot for no reason, full of old people, full of rude people. <laughs> if you want to get anywhere, tr- good luck. You're gonna die via cab. Like it fucking sucks. Scammers um, left and right. S- the smell yeah. of smoke filling the air because every single person there smokes cigarettes. And that like is cigarettes. actually like the biggest negative for me, the cigarette. <laughs> but Damn. everything That's... else is pretty manageable, my well, guy. Well, you live in the fucking valley, so Yeah, she lives yeah. in the desert. So you're, you're surrounded by old people and the heat, so it's Yeah, no. Yeah. It Vegas fucking sucks. We well, I'm not saying we were we were gonna go to Vegas. That kind of fell through, but like well, we were going to go to Area 15, and we were going to go to the Gamer Bar. That was the only thing I had planned. You didn't have the strip planned with casinos and the hotels. What the fuck are we going to do at a casino? Lose everything? No, I'm not a gambler. No, about- there's, like, other stuff to do in the casinos, okay? Like, there's, like, so bar. many fucking shows there. <sighs> I... There, yeah, I saw well, this um Harry Potter parody show one time, and it was the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen. I swear it on my life. It was two men playing every single character. What the fuck? <laughs> that sounds fun. kind of funny. Yeah. yeah, but you could get that like anywhere. Like you don't have to go to Vegas for that. that. No, Literally but anywhere. it's the novelty, like, you know. Portland's got it all. It's- <laughs> okay, Portland. It's- I who the fuck said I'm promoting Portland right now? You got me <laughs> fucked up. It's the closest city you guys are to, so this is no. Let's just go to fucking Seattle. Uh, ew. Seeing it, Seattle was. Fun. You guys are sandwiched between two shitty cities. Sorry. <laughs> Seattle was totally fine when we went. Moles in the tales of two shitty cities. <laughs> All right. I keep laughing like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys want to rip? Yeah. yeah. I think. Uh, what? We're all done? Yeah, we're all done. Damn. All right. Wrap it up. Uh, someone. <clears throat> I don't want to do it. Wrapping it up. So, this is the end of episode 48 of Camping Buddies. We went off a lot. 
on the topics and we went off topic a lot so like subscribe comment on your favorite city um and what do you like to do there i'm just talking on my ass because i was trying to make a joke but it's not working so someone take it away bye 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 everybody bye.